Hi, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm, and I wonder if you've noticed one of these new garden pests in your garden this year. This is the brown marmorated stink bug, and I found it actually in my house, trying to escape inside for the winter for when it gets cold to overwinter and then emerge again in the spring. Now, they call it a stink bug because when it's threatened, it lets off an unpleasant pungent odor uh, to dissuade its predators. Now, the brown marmorated stink bug isn't invasive, it's new here in North America. It comes from Asia, it's native to Asia, and the fact that it doesn't have any or many natural enemies here in North America yet means that it has spread rapidly and is doing major damage to a wide range of agricultural crops, notably apples and stone fruit. We have mosquito screens on our windows and doors, so how did that little guy get in here? And it's very possible that he hitched a ride on some of the plants I'm bringing in for the very same reason, winter protection from the cold. Now, once the stink bugs get inside, they can warm up and then start flying around looking for lights and just making a general nuisance of themselves. Your only real defense is exclusion, keeping doors and windows closed or screened, and looking for the openings where they're getting in. My more serious concern, of course, is what they do in the spring and summer in the garden, because they go after all of the fun plants that we grow, things like grapes and soft fruit, like raspberries and blackberries. They go for stone fruit, apples, uh, and a wide range of other plants, even ornamentals, causing damage to the plants themselves, but most notably the loss of harvest of the fruits and vegetables. Well, of course, the first thing I did is look at the research and find out what are growers using against the brown marmorated stink bug, uh, particularly since they're starting to spread aggressively in North America, South America, and Europe, and because they have a, an alleged lack of natural predators. Put a bookmark in that, we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, but because they're an Asian species, they didn't feel like there was going to be natural predators to deal with these populations, so they started spraying them with pyrethroids, for instance. That's tried and true. And of course, that would knock down their populations, but because they're growing and expanding so quickly, and when you're using chemicals against large populations of insects, you expect to develop resistance to those, those chemicals. And that's what started to happen with the brown marmorated stink bug. Uh, as a side note to this, I did a video a while back where I talked about control of thrips and the same thing, that treadmill of the pesticides that you can get into. And some of the viewers in the comments mentioned, oh no, I just use orthine against my thrips. It's perfect. It works great. Well, of course, I look at the research on that and there's high levels of orthine resistance developing in cotton thrips in the southern US, for instance, because it's used so much against them. So even if you have a chemical measure that is working for now, it isn't guaranteed to continue working. Um, as an intermediate approach, something that apple growers have been finding is that kale and clay uh, applied as a spray or as a dusting on their apple trees can make them less hospitable to the marmorated stink bug, and so they avoid those crops. So that's a, a decent measure in the meantime. Now let's return to that biological control thing, because of course, as an Asian species, in Asia, they have predators. And so I think the first thought was, well, let's go to Asia, find out who their predators are and bring them to North America. And it's funny because nature kind of beat them to it. They started finding wild populations of their Asian predators that had landed in North America simultaneously, maybe even with the populations of brown marmorated stink bugs. So that's starting to happen, although they're a little behind the curve. The other thing that they're finding is that there are natural populations of native predators in North America and parasitoids that are starting to work on the problem of the brown marmorated stink bug. Now, I'm not saying this is a, a panacea that's going to solve things, but things like green lace wings or uh, pill bugs uh, eat their eggs and hunt down their eggs, or the wheel bug is particularly effective against these uh, stink bugs. So it seems like the populations of predators, I mean, they, they don't get away from anything, the spiders, the birds, everything will eat this stink bug. It's just a matter of the populations in North America sort of adapting and changing uh, to look at this new food source and start controlling the population coming into balance. All right, that's all I have for you today on the brown marmorated stink bug. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, drop those into the comments below the video.